Hello, and welcome to the first emergency series podcast from Dr. Crunch. My name is Viral. And I'm Sheena. And today we're going to be going through a very common Dr. A, B, C, D, E approach. The way we do these is we'll give you a scenario, we'll ask you a question, like an examiner would, give you some time to think about it, and then we'll present you with the model answer. We have a 69-year-old man coming into A&E with a cough for the last two days, bringing up initially yellow and now green sputum. He's also feeling short of breath. There's no chest pain. The triage ask has asked to move this patient to resus and as she feels the patient is cyanosed and very unwell. Patient details, John O'Reilly, 69. Dr. Ramiad, I am your examiner. How are you going to proceed? Is it safe to approach? It is safe to approach. Mr. O'Reilly, how are you feeling today? Oh, not grand at all, doctor. Feeling a bit breathless. What would you like to do next? Check his airway. And how are you going to do that? Well, as he's speaking, his airway's patent, so at this point I'd like to move on to breathing. And how would you like to do that? I look for cyanosis, peripherally at the hands and centrally at the lips and mouth. I'd also look at the chest movements, assessing for symmetry and depth, and for use of accessory muscles, pursed lips and nasal flaring. Okay. Well, there is central cyanosis as well as peripheral cyanosis. Chest movements are normal. Uh, There is no use of accessory muscles. There's no evidence of pursed lip breathing, and there is no nasal flaring. I'd like to feel for for chest expansion and for deviated trachea. So chest expansion is symmetrical and the trachea is central. I'm going to auscultate the chest. So you noticed bronchial breathing at the right base. The rest of the auscultation is unremarkable. At this point, I'd like to take some measurements. What's our patient's oxygen saturations and respiratory rate? The oxygen saturations are 86% on air and the respiratory rate is 32 per minute. In that case, I'd like to call for some help at this point, um, and I'd like to treat our patient with high concentration oxygen, and I'd also like to request an an arterial blood gas, a sputum sample, and a chest x-ray. Okay, and who exactly are are you going to call for help? The PERT team. Okay, and you said high flow oxygen. What kind of rate are we talking about? 15 metres. So, what are you going to assess next? Circulation. And how are you going to do that? I look at his general colour, whether he's sweaty or pale, or if there's any obvious edema. The patient appears pale, the JVP is normal, and there is no obvious edema anywhere. I feel his peripheries, whether they're warm or clammy, and also his pulse whether it's regular and its character. So the patient is warm to the touch, the pulse is rapid at 114 beats per minute, and it's regular. At this point, I'd like to auscultate our patient's precordium and listen to his lung bases. So the heart sounds are normal, S1, S2 with no added sounds. The right base has bronchial breathing as noted earlier, but there are no crackles at the bases. I'd like to take some measurements now. What is Mr. O'Reilly's pulse? 114. And his blood pressure? 104 over 74. And his urine output? 30 mils per hour. And his capillary refill? 3 seconds. And his temperature? 38.7. I'd like to treat him at this point by initially inserting two large bore intravenous cannula through which I'd like to give 0.9% sodium chloride. I'd also like to take some bloods, including a full blood count eusenes and blood cultures. I'd also like to give some paracetamol as an antipyretic and an appropriate antibiotic in line with the local hospital policy. This is most likely to include um, a combination of amoxicillin and clarithromycin. Okay, so what would you like to do next? Assess his disability. And how are you going to do that? I'd assess him on the AVPU scale and measure his BM. His BM comes back at 6.1. How would you distinguish between A and V on the AVPU scale? In A, his eyes are spontaneously open. In V, they're not. 
In both scenarios, the patient will respond to voice. What would you like to do next? Well, I'd like to complete my Dr. ABCD examination on exposure. This will involve a top-to-toe examination. So you do this and the patient appears hot and sweaty and there's no real abnormality seen elsewhere. What would you do next? I do a systematic handover of care and aim to treat the underlying cause. End of station. Thanks very much for listening. That was Viral and Sheena uh, giving you a podcast on emergencies by Dr. Crunch. If you like what we're doing, have a look at drcrunch.co.uk. We're always happy to hear from you for feedback and suggestions for improvement. Also drop us an email at thebigcrunch at drcrunch.co.uk. Thanks very much.